Other news tonight, the city of Newark is gearing up for a very special visit. The Dalai Lama is coming to town. He is the keynote speaker at a big peace conference that the city is hosting. One group of school kids is all ready for his arrival with some very special artwork. Brenda Flanagan has their story. Two art projects tell the tale in Newark. One's a sidewalk memorial for a murder victim. The other's a wall of student posters welcoming the Dalai Lama to the World Peace Summit here in Newark this weekend. For the last five years, we've struggled uh, with promoting a safe summer. Uh, the summit that's being held this weekend, uh, you know, I just wish this kind of message could be replicated in other schools throughout the city. But how can a weekend peace summit and kids' artwork at First Avenue School stop the violence? By making people think, says Principal Kathy Duke-Jackson, starting with students. Not only did they show us great work, but they began to demonstrate daily what does it mean to show peace? Kind of like a sun that shines the world, making peace on earth. More than anything, encourage them to look up images that brought their ideas outside the box. Students used symbols like puzzle pieces. Right now, the world is so, you know, like... Mixed up? Yeah, mixed up, and we should really put ourselves together. I was trying to show, you know, going against the whole violence act. Arlemis Roberts won first prize. The school also showcases a homemade Tibetan altar, mandalas that resemble stained glass, and a message. They learned about just treating each other continuously with respect. In addition to art projects, the kids here also studied sayings from the Dalai Lama. The kindergartners learned, be kind whenever possible. Possible. It's always possible. In Newark, Brenda Flanagan, My Nine News. Possible indeed. Still ahead. Audrey's working on the forecast. Sleepies, the mattress professionals. The most trusted name in mattresses, Sleepies. No two bodies are alike, which means not every body.